a decent fit. That's a nice fish. Oh, oh man, that is beautiful. That is a nice fish, dude. So it's really hard to pick a favorite season on a place like the Susquehanna River. Um, you get some guys that love to fish it in the fall for those big footballs. Some people fish it in the winter and they get into those deep wintering holes. Um, my favorite time is spring. I uh, really like to fish this river in the spring. There's a lot of activity going on. There's usually plenty of water and the fish are either pre-spawn, spawning or post-spawn, which gives you a lot of different options. We're up here today uh, taking advantage of sort of right in the middle of the spawn and we're testing out some of these uh, uh, shikari jerk baits here to see if we can't give some of the bedding bass a break and get some of these fish that are either getting ready to move up uh, and spawn or maybe are coming down and have already spawned. So we're targeting breaks and we're really allowing the suspension uh, action of these baits to do a lot of the work. So we basically, we look for some ripples uh, where there's gonna be some nice drop offs behind them. And then what we really like to do is just let that bait do as much of the work as we can, as, as it can for us. And then I like to give it a good, good smack and then let it sit. And I wanna see a smack when I actually see that line hitting the water. And I give it slack back and that lets that bait just do crazy stuff and then float back with the current. And some of these big fish are sitting right behind here and that's all they need to see is that erratic bait action and then floating downstream and they've just been kind of jerking it right out of our hands. Like, oh, I just got a nice hit. <laughs> Wait, give it back, there we go. Just like that right there. This is why we come up here. This is why we fish with uh, great guides like Jason Shea who knows this river like the back of his hand and puts us on these spots where he knows these fish are gonna stage and we could take advantage of our lures actions and uh, uh, just fish this really killer special time of the year. Everything's healthy, everything's being reborn. It looks like it's gonna be a super, super summer. We got lots of water and we'll see what else we can get. So we're here on the Susquehanna, just above Duncannon, Pennsylvania. We're throwing the Nomad Design Shikari Minnow. And in spring, I like to let it pause a lot. It, the suspending jerk bait is key. So what I like to do is make a long cast, give it two hard jerks to get it down, and there's a fish. That's a decent fish. Yeah, normally you let it pause a little bit more, but this fish decided it wanted. That's a decent fish. That's a nice fish. <laughs> so the main reason that the shikari works is it has a real great wide erratic action and it's getting these pre and post spawn fish that are staging to go into like a spawning area. It, it really gets their attention. The Susquehanna has a vast color selection as far as watercolor. One day it can be crystal clear, one day it can be high and muddy. My two favorite colors that cover the whole spectrum, the Tennessee Shad for stained to dirty water and the Aqua Ghost for gin clear water. Another great thing about the Shikari jerk baits is the BKK hooks. There's a lot of rocks on the Susquehanna River and these BKK hooks stay sharp enough to land these trophy smallmouth. This has been this has been quite the spring, quite the early winter. We have been uh, we've been staying true to our name and being real nomads and traveling around and doing different things, trying to uh, figure out this uh, freshwater game with our new freshwater families. Um, you may know Nomad from Saltwater, um, where we've, uh, for 20 plus years, have just been making unbelievable saltwater baits. And we're really taking our time when we're trying to do it right here on the freshwater. And we've been going to places like Florida. We've been going to places like California. Uh, we've been to Texas, um, fished in New Jersey, got some really nice fish with GDP, fished down in Louisiana. But we really wanted to check, take a look at this, uh, the Susquehanna fishery 
starting to look more at smallmouth. We think a lot of what we're learning here is going to translate to the St. Lawrence River and other places like that. But this great river, this big river, offers a ton of challenges. And uh, we're just really thrilled we were able to get up here on a day where everybody's fishing Ned rigs for, uh, for bass on beds. And uh, Captain uh, Jason Shea's getting us out on some uh, uh, suspended rocks and some cliff edges, and we're doing a jerkbait thing. And so just with that good slap and pause, retrieve, let these fish have what they want. And uh, I know a lot of time around spawn time, fish that are going to hit hard baits are going to be a little aggressive males. But I think we're going to see that you could get some really, woo, man, this thing's got some shoulders to it. This is giving the Tatula Rod a workout, man. Holy cow. You can see with a little bit of no local knowledge, nice fish, and the right bait, and the right captain. Woo! So that's how with a little local knowledge, you get set up right, use a great jerk bait on the right color, the Aqua Go Shikari 95. Come on out to the Susquehanna River in the spring, baby.